Now in this next part, we're asked to find the shaded area R, the area that is cut off by the line joining O to A and the curve and the y-axis. So in order to do this, what I'm going to do is drop a line down from A. We know that the x-coordinate of A is 2, so that value there will be 2. And so I'm going to find the area bounded by the curve, the y-axis and the x-axis and the line x equals 2. That will be this area in here. And subtract from that the area of this triangle. So, how do I find then the area bounded below the curve to the x-axis between the y-axis and the line x equals 2? I need to integrate. So the area would be equal to the integral always of the graph, in this case y, which is this equation. So I'll pop that in there. Remember we've got more than one term, so you need brackets around this. 10 plus 8x plus x squared minus x cubed, integrated with respect to x. And it goes from x is naught to 2. So x is naught to 2. So if we integrate this, then each of these terms we should be able to integrate just by adding 1 to the power and dividing by the new power. So the integral of 10, a constant, always gives 10 times x. Then we have 8x becomes, at 1 to the power, 8x to the power 2 over 2. Then for x squared, at 1 to the power, that's x to the power 3 over 3. And then for the last term, minus x cubed, at 1 to the power, that's x to the 4 over 4. And then remember, we've got to put this in, say, square brackets with the limits going from 0 to 2. So all I need to do now is just clean this up. I notice, by the way, that the 2 goes into the 8, so that becomes 4x squared. None of these other terms cancel. So all I need to do then is substitute, wherever you see an x now, the value 2. So we have, first of all, 10 times 2, which we know is 20. And then when x is 2 here, we have 2 squared is 4. 4 4 is 16, so that's plus 16. And here, when x is 2, 2 cubed is 8, so we have 8 thirds. And then finally, 2 to the power 4 is 16, and 16 divided by 4 is 4, so that's going to be minus 4. Then we need to subtract what we get when we put 0 in for x. Well, quite clearly, each of these has a term in, has a value of x in it, so therefore, when you put 0 through, everything's going to be 0, so we'll just do that. And if you work this out, you'll find that you get 104 over 3, and should really put units squared, okay, because it's an area. So that then is the area under the curve then, this area that I'm trying to shade here now, all right? All we need to do is now find the area of the triangle, A to O, and then across here, all right, the area of this triangle. And the area of the triangle is going to be half the base times the perpendicular height. Trouble is, we don't know the perpendicular height at the moment. But that's not going to be too difficult because all we need to do is get the y coordinate here when x is 2. And to do that, we just put when y, when, sorry, when x is 2 into here and it will give us the y value. So we'll start up here and say that when x is 2, we see that y equals 10 plus 8 times 2 plus 2 squared minus 2 cubed. And working that out, you find you get 22. So that means that the coordinates of A are 2 and then 22. So the height here is 22 units. So therefore, what we have is that the area 
of the triangle equals half the base, which is 2 units, that's times 2, times the height, which is 22 units. And so working that out clearly is 22 units squared. So therefore, we're in a position now to work out the area of R. And as we said earlier, the area of R is going to be the area under the curve minus the area of the triangle. So the area under the curve was 104 over 3 square units. And we now need to subtract 22 square units. And if you do that on a calculator, say, you should find that you get 38 thirds of units squared. Or you could say 12 and 2 thirds or 12.6 recurring. Anyway, any of those answers would do. And that brings us now to the end of this uh, question.